God is good all the time and all the time. God is good. Good morning, St. Therese family, and happy Tuesday to all of you. Uh, today we continue on on the second day of our 20th week of school, Catholic Schools Week, Black History Month. Uh, much to be grateful for, much to be excited about. As a reminder, our SLE for this week reminds us of our call to be respectful and compassionate community members uh, who practice stewardship of God's creation, their time, talent, and treasures. So let's make sure we pay attention to the needs of others in the world around us today and think about how we use our time, um, what gifts and talents we have and, and what resources we have that might be able to bring life and wholeness to others throughout this day and every day. As we uh, continue on our, our Catholic Schools Week uh, uh, practices, uh, this week we, we, or today we celebrate community. And so we lift up our students and families in gratitude because we would not be here without you and you are what makes St. Therese so special. So thank you for choosing St. Therese to partner with our dream team to uh, meet your children's ed educational and holistic needs. Uh, couldn't imagine, uh, imagine a better set of families and students um, to be on this journey with, especially during this time. And so uh, community is, is something that we lean on in times of need and that we celebrate with in times of joy. It's really what, what life is all about. We're not meant to live alone and to be isolated. So this time is a challenge because our understanding of community and connections with community are so vital. So in a unique way this year, um, we celebrate the gift of community and we pray that uh, it's not too long before we truly can embrace each other as a community in person once again. Uh, what our saint for today is, is not a person, but rather another event in the life of Jesus. Uh, you may not know this, but 40 days ago, it was Christmas morning. And today we celebrate uh, the feast of the presentation of the Lord. It's also Groundhog Day. That has nothing to do with the church, but any adult who has seen the movie knows that it's all too fitting for this era. Uh, but the Feast of the Presentation of the Lord always comes on 40 days after Christmas, and it's uh, the time in Jesus' life where he was presented before his community at the temple in Jerusalem. And so this was a ritual in the Jewish tradition in Jesus' day that uh, you would slaughter a lamb and offer up a dove as a gift to God um, for the, the gift of new life. But Mary and Joseph didn't have the resources to have their own lamb, so they offered up the humble sacrifice of two uh, pigeons or, or turtle doves. And so what we know is that Jesus came from very humble backgrounds, and this is a great example of this because they chose that humble sacrifice versus the more affluent one. And when this event was occurring in Jesus' life, uh, it was the time where he would be dedicated to God, and he was recognized by two elders in the temple. Simeon, who was known as a prophet, an older man, um, who was told by God that he would not leave this earth until he had seen the Messiah, and he recognized Jesus at 40 days old as the one whom God spoke to him about. And similar here, similarly, the prophetess Anna um, recognized Jesus, and they both approached Mary and Joseph and, and proclaimed that this child was going to be special. So Mary and Joseph knew their baby was special, but having these elders of the temple reaffirm that, um, doubled down on this notion that their child was going to change the world. And so with that said, as we lift up community and we hear about the presentation of our Lord today, uh, let's make sure that, that we treat all we encounter with that sacredness that Mary and Joseph brought Jesus to the temple with. We're all consecrated to God. We're all called to be holy and to be servants of our Lord. So let's make sure that by the way we treat one another and interact with our earth and all we encounter, um, that we're showing that light that we're called to be. Let's begin our day together in prayer. Besm ab, bewailed, amon fes kadus, adam lak. Amen. Good morning, dear Jesus. This day is for you. We ask you to bless all we think, say, and do. We love you, God. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I am only one, but I am one. I cannot do everything, but I can do something. What I can do, I ought to do. And what I ought to do, I will do, by the grace of God. Amen. Yes, my all, but will, but my pescadus, hadam lak. Amen. Well, that concludes our prayers, and uh, it's now time for our Pledge of Allegiance. Maria, would you like to hold the flag for us this morning? All right, Sister Maria is back. Today's Express Yourself Day, so hopefully you're wearing some fun clothes to show a little bit about who you are. With our flag held high in our right hand over our hearts, we say, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's give our flag bearers a round of applause this morning. And uh, as I said, it's Express Yourself Day, so before we close in song, I'll, I'll share that I'm you know, rocking my St. T's hat because it's a very big part of my life. Even Maria's middle name is Therese because she was born um, after we had joined the St. Therese family. And uh, I'm rocking my Chicago Bulls Christmas sweater because as bad as this team may be and may have been for the last 20, 25 years, I uh, had a few, a few chances in there. Um, you got to stay true to your roots and recognize, you know, where you're from. And I'm a Chicago product initially. So go Bulls, go All-Stars. And Maria has her heart. Why did you choose this? because it's a dress and she likes dresses and hearts so full of love. With that said, let's sing together to conclude our assembly today. Lift every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring. Ring with the harmonies of living. Sound loud as the rolling sea. Sing a song full of the faith that the dark past has taught us. Sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought us. Facing the rising. March on till victory is won. Let us march on till victory is won. Amen. Have a blessed Tuesday, St. Therese family. Enjoy all that comes your way. And of course, remember that we can do all things through Christ to strengthen us. Amen. Have a blessed day, St. Therese family.